Hi, I'm Jim Olgensky, Chief Architect at Enterprise DB. I want to talk today about how you create a quick and simple Java application with Postgres as your backend database. In order to do that, we're going to use a project by JBoss called Seam. Seam ties together a number of different JBoss and, and Java frameworks in order to create a quick and simple database-driven CRUD application in order to build your business applications. Seam ties together Java server faces on the front end, EJBs in the middle, and Hibernate is the back-end persistent layer. It's going to tie together the, the database and reverse engineer everything out, so this way you don't have to create your boilerplate code, and the framework will do it for you. So let's get started. So we're going to start the project by first looking at the database. You can see here in PG Admin 3, it has a USDA database with 10 tables in it. You can have things like your food groups, your food descriptions, and it gives you a lot of information in your legacy database. If you want to create the Java application on top of that, that's where we're going to use Seam. So going over here to Seam, the first thing you're going to do is run Seam Setup. Seam Setup is going to create a properties file for you in order to create the basis for your entire project. The first thing you got to do is pick out where that project is going to go and what JBoss application server is going to be deployed to. You're going to have to choose the domain of where it's going to go. We'll choose the default for now. You can skip the Glassfish stuff because we're deploying out the JBoss. We're not using the Sun stuff for today. So skipping the, the, the Glassfish, you're going to have to go into what the project name. Just be uncreative and call it USDA. Pick what kind of Java server face interface we're going to use. We're going to use rich faces, and we use the deep marine skin for that. So we'll choose how we want to have it deployed. You have the option. We're going to go with a simple WAR file. And then you're going to have to pick the base package name for your Java classes that it's going to create. We're going to use com.mydomain.usda. You're going to have to pick your session beans, your entity beans, your test classes. So it's going to create everything you need for it, including all the boilerplate, including unit test cases that developers never actually want to build because it's, it's kind of boring doing that. The important thing is choosing your database. Here, you get, of course, we're going to be using Postgres. You're going to have to pick the JDBC driver. It, uh, you're going to have to pick where that jar file is, the dialect that you're going to use. So this way, Hibernate has a, knows how to talk to the backend database. Picking your driver class, again, your, your data source class. And then, importantly, you're going to have to pick your JDBC URL. We're going to be connecting to a database on a local host on port 5432. You're going to have your, enter your connection information for your username and password and what schema that everything's going to be in. We're going to skip the catalog name because that doesn't really apply in a Postgres database. We're not going to we're going to be using tables that already exist because this is a legacy database, and we don't want Seam in order to recreate them when it's deployed. It quickly runs everything, and it, it's going to tell you the next thing to do is going to be a Seam Create Project. So Create Project is going to generate the framework for you and all the boilerplate pieces that you need in order to create the building block information for you. You can see that it's going to also create your Eclipse and NetBeans project for you, so you could use your ID of choice. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and run Seam Generate. Seam Generate is going to reverse engineer your database, so that's going to do all the, the hard stuff for you of looking at the d different tables and creating all the different Java classes, your JPA configurations, as well as all your Java server faces, and it's going to create all that extra code for you, so this way you don't have to do it yourself. Then finally, you're going to run Seam Explode. Seam Explode is actually going to deploy everything out to the JBoss application server. Now that's run. We could go over here to JBoss running in the background, and you can see that it's going to start to deploy out to, to the JBoss application server. It's going to do the reverse engineering. It's going to look at all the metadata of all the tables. And it's going to, quickly, you're going to have your Java application. So now we could go out here to a browser and look it up. It's running on localhost 8080 under the, the project USDA. See, it's a simple Seam boilerplate application, but now we can browse that data. So now you can look at the different food groups. You can see everything that, that's in there of, of dairy and egg products, spices and herbs, baby food, all the things in that USDA database. Or you could drill down even deeper and look at all the things that are in the food groups and what, what comprises of it. It's a simple CRUD application that 
every application developer needs to do in order to start building their application, but Seam will create that framework for you, and because of Postgres's foreign key constraints, it ties together all the different pieces for you. So this way you can really concentrate on building your business application instead of worrying about creating all that boilerplate stuff that Java developers just rather get past. Seam will take care of that for you. Hope you found this informative. For Enterprise DB, I'm Jim Olgentke. Thanks.